Hey guys, really exciting things happening right now. So, you know, I am two weeks into my self-isolation because I have coronavirus. I probably don't have coronavirus anymore. I'm going to get tested again tomorrow, but like, yeah, I'm still in my little two weeks self-isolation type B. So I had another video that I was gonna film today. I was just gonna talk about my problems my declining mental health but i was like maybe i should just shut the fuck up because i talk about that so much <laughs> i'm just crazy sorry i'm just crazy no literally like every 30 minutes i post on my private story like i need help anyways like 30 minutes ago i was on youtube and i stumbled across these and i was like that's it that's what we're doing. We're gonna take these quizzes together. We're gonna find out what aesthetic we are. These were definitely made by like 12 year olds. Yeah, the fucking 12 year olds let me down. These quizzes suck. It's the next day. After I finished filming that video, I knew I didn't like it. I actually like, I'm so disappointed with these quizzes. I'm like, do I even fucking edit this? Look at the questions that they were giving me. <laughs> How would you lay out your phone? <laughs> what type of question is that? Oh my God. I mean, what do they mean? How would you lay out your phone? Like, what's the difference between these options? They're all laid out the same. It's just the wallpaper. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. So yeah, trust me, it, it wasn't good. And I wasn't happy with it, so I'm flipping the script. Making this video has been such a long fucking process, and I'm so tired, and hopefully this time I can get it right. So yeah, like I was saying, I was taking quizzes made by 12-year-olds. I now know I need to be... Okay, no offense to the 12-year-olds, I'm sorry. But I now know that I need to be taking quizzes made by professionals. I need professional quiz makers for me to quiz take. Which is why I am turning to BuzzFeed. Their quizzes are very interesting. So many things that you can learn about yourself. I'm gonna be finding out what percentage of e-boy I am because that's still similar to the video that I was trying to film last night. And then also, which Riverdale character I am. Eh? Eh? Answer these seven questions and we'll tell you what percent e-boy you are. Okay, that's what we're doing. So it's not like what type of e-boy. I guess there's only one type. Duh, I'm dumb. It's what percent you are. Even better. What do your outfits mostly consist of? Black clothes, metal, and band tees, a lot of different colors and styles. Dark clothes, but I like to keep it clean. Mainly dark tones and denim. A lot of different colors and styles. Definitely. Look, look at me. I love colors. I love doing the thing where it's just like, you wear three colors and everything is like consistent. Does that make sense? Okay. What are your go-to accessories? Silver chain, nail polish, scoring. I don't like accessories. Well, I'm definitely wearing the most basic chain on the planet right now. I'm pretty sure everyone owns this chain. But I think it's cute. I, I love this chain. It's so cute. It's like the key to my heart. Well, the lock to my heart. No one has the key. Okay, anyways, so I'm picking silver chain. It's silver chain. I don't wear nail polish. I don't wear... Yeah. <laughs> Which app do you use the most? I'm a Snapchat ho. Everyone knows I am a Snapchat ho. I post I post my whole life on Snapchat. How would your friends describe you? Trendy, introverted, edgy, or adventurous? Trendy, I think it's trendy. Everyone would call me trendy, I feel like. What color is your hair right now? Well, it's brown with a hint of green. That's not like, looking too cute lately, honestly. But I think that's most similar to brown with blonde tips, right? That's safe to say, right? Which artist do you love listening to the most? Oh my god, Billie Eilish. Duh. <laughs> Noah Cyrus, 21 Pilots, or Ariana Grande? Duh. 21 Pilots. No, I'm just kidding. Obviously, it's... It's her. It's her. It's her. It's her. It's her. She's the one. She's always been the one. Finally, which image speaks to your soul the most? Oh my god, wait. Ooh, I don't know. These are really cute. <gasps> the skateboard pick just brings up the adventurous side in me. Uh, it's the concert one though, it has to be. I just love concerts. Concerts and music is just such a big part of my like upcoming, I feel like. And I just 
really have a connection with music. <laughs> You're not an e-boy. Oh my god, what? I'm kind of upset. No, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not upset. I'm different. I don't fit into a category. Anyways, you don't fall under the e-boy umbrella because you stick to your own style. However, you're extremely fascinated by this new trend and respect how cool the e-boys of the internet truly are. I don't know if I respect it, I'm not gonna lie. Uh <laughs> the same boys who non-ironically called themselves e-boys now are the same boys who bullied me in middle school for having the alt style. But now that like TikTok has like popularized it and normalized it, they kind of like stole it and it looks really unnatural on them. And they're just doing it because it's trendy. And yeah, they bullied me, so. So would you believe me if I told you that a whole nother day has passed and I just put on the same clothes as yesterday to keep filming the video? Because you should, because that's what happened. Hey, if I didn't tell you, you would have never known, so. Holy shit, I can't believe this is about to happen. A question that I have had burning inside for years is finally about to be answered. What Riverdale character am I? Am I Ronnie? Am I Archie? Am I Betty? I mean, obviously I'm Jughead. Why? I'm just so different because I'm different. I'm just so different. I'm just so fucking different. I'm weird, I'm a weirdo. I don't fit in and I don't want to fit in. I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. I don't fit in. I don't want to fit in. Have you ever seen me without the stupid hat on? That's weird. Have you ever seen me without the stupid hat on? Have you ever seen me without the stupid hat on? Have you ever seen me without the stupid hat on? That's weird. So be honest, would anyone be mad if I wore these for the rest of the video? I just kind of enjoy the way they make me feel, I'm not gonna lie. I'm weird. Guys, on Halloween, I wore these to school. <laughs> I wore these to school and I vlogged it too. I just never posted it. Anyways, let's take this fucking quiz. Where's my coffee? Come on, where is it? Bro, what? Oh, what is it? it's right here. I'm blind. This quiz will reveal which Riverdale character you are. You're Jughead, right? Duh. When did you start watching Riverdale? A week ago? A few months ago? I don't watch it ever since it started. Okay. Shit. To be honest, ever since it started. <laughs> but let me explain. Everyone knows the first season was good. I watched that the first season on TV. But then, you know, the writers just started doing drugs. Just kind of went like, you know. Everyone knows. That's universal knowledge. And I kind of stopped watching it. Once like the Gargoyle King started coming out, but then one day I was watching it at my friend's house and it was like one of the later seasons. It felt like I was watching a dream. Who's your favorite couple? Jughead and Betty, Veronica and Archie, Cheryl and Tony. Do you guys remember the scene when Cheryl was like inside the conversion camp. Oh my God, what? Who wrote this? And they came and broke her out and Tony came in Cheryl! and like saved her and then they like kissed. <laughs> that scene was cute. I watched it a couple times and the song that they played during it was so good. And then this is so embarrassing, listen. So one time I was um, talking to this girl and like we were about to kiss and we had like talked about this scene i feel like or maybe the song because i really liked the song that they played so we were about to have like our first kiss well it wasn't our first kiss but it was like a makeup type kiss okay i don't need to explain the story we were kissing so when i was like can we remake the scene from riverdale <laughs> we're cheryl and tony so we were in the street on opposite sides and then i played the song in my car and then we like ran to each other and kissed. Okay. Yeah, it happened. It happened. Cheryl, Tony, there are a bunch of nuns coming. We have to go. Come on. What's your favorite color? Blue. Black. No, I'm just kidding. It's blue. I love blue. Blue is my favorite color. What's a bad trait to obtain? Insensitive, ignorance, dishonest, disrespectful. I mean, I would say all of them. Aren't those all pretty, pretty negative traits? I hate when people lie. I don't know. I mean, they're gonna say insensitive or ignorance. Both of those are very just like, fuck you. 
But what do you guys think? What should I do? Ignorance insensitive. I'm gonna say ignorant. Ignorance killed the cat. Isn't that what they say? Choose your favorite food. Oh my god. Oh, I love sushi so much. That's probably like my favorite like if I Oh my god, I'm still wearing the ears. I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna take them off. <laughs> Choose your favorite food. Okay, it's fries. It's fries. I'm saying fries. So this is the last question. So we're about to get our answer. I'm nervous. Please be Jughead. Please be Jughead. Please be Jughead. Please be Jughead. Guys, actually, Jughead's literally my least favorite character. He's always been my least favorite character. I think he's so annoying, but who's the best character? I liked Veronica, but everyone hates Veronica, apparently. Everyone thinks she's annoying, and I'm like, well, if you don't like Veronica, then who do you like? Do people like Jughead? Do people like Betty, that crazy-ass bitch? Because I don't. Okay, shut the fuck up and press fries. Okay. You're uh, Betty Cooper. Oh, my God. I'm not mad. I mean, because I do think I'm a little bit crazy. So it kind of fits. They don't give me an explanation why though, but I'm sure it's because we're crazy. <laughs> well shit, I'm glad this weight has been lifted off my shoulder. I can sleep peacefully now knowing that I am Betty Cooper. Thank you so much. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I love, I love this answer. I love it. I just love it so much. Um, yeah. I'm still shook that I'm not e-boy, but whatever. I'm gonna go. I just wanna, I just wanna remind y'all to be you. Be yourself because everyone else is already taken. I'm gonna go make some toys. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> cause it's, cause I'm wearing elf ears and an elf hat. Okay. There are a bunch of nuns coming, we have to go, come on.